Hello everybody. I have been asked by a couple of people and also a YouTuber named Sonny uh, quite a while ago to make a piece on, on, on this particular rifle but somehow I never get a chance to do it so here we go this is it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just so it happens that Winchester 73 model is my favorite rifle as well of all times. I've owned several over the years. I still own four of them, but this is one of my favorite. In fact, my, one of my favorite rifles I've ever owned, uh, period. Uh, why? It's because of the several special features that this, this uh, rifle uh, has. Uh, most notably, brass stock, uh, stock plate, I should say, sorry. It, I've never seen one, one like it. Not even in the books, let alone auctions or, or, or shops or anywhere else. It's got seven leaf uh, express Winchester sight, one of the rarest sights on Winchester on, on this particular model. Uh, beachfront sight, uh, foldable gold wash beach style front sight, uh, and a set trigger. It's old rifle, it's well over 100 years old. It was made in 1892, according to the serial number. Well worn, rusted, pitted, especially on the left side, I suppose, because it was stored that way. Uh, it's got very heavy barrel. Well, it seems heavy to me. I don't know, is it is it heavy barrel? Because I know some of the 74s they had really nice and, and thick barrel. A 24 inch barrel, octagonal, 4440, uh, Winchester center fire. Uh, it's got a silver uh, inlay or cartouche, whatever they call them. Uh, never been engraved, as far as I can tell, never has been touched. Uh, the Butt plate was engraved at one point in time, or originally was engraved, but mostly now it's been rubbed off. Still, there's traces of it, they can be seen, but I don't know if you can see it, but most of it is gone. Right? It's got a four grade uh, wood or stock, because the full run has been replaced, I suppose, a long time ago, because this is well worn as well. It was checkered at one point in time, but now that you can barely make out the lines left. It was very fine checkering at one point in time. So basically, this is it. It's old, it's rusty, but it's still a joy to shoot. It shoots very, very well. The bore inside is, for some reason, I was, uh, the, it, the, you can tell the age and the, the it's been used extensively from the outer exterior, but inside it just gleams. The bore is, I'd say, easy 8 out of 10, if not eight and a half maybe out of ten as you can see here it's got six leaves and also the last one's a tangent which goes up to a thousand yards. I've tested these they, they, they work very well they're very accurate but for target shooting I use my Lyman early fine checkered st staff nerd sorry not checkered nerd knurling on the staff and it's just a joy to shoot I use it regularly it's been sent to the proof house to be proofed unfortunately they put massive marks here nitro proof but what can you do that's the law you have to apply by it so there it is, the, the buttstock, it's absolutely beautiful and on the sun, outside if it's a sunny day, it's absolutely shy as you can tell the, the stripes much clearly on it. But yeah, this is it. I don't mind the, the rust or the pitting or I use it very often every chance I get I take it down to the range and I use it I really enjoy it so I hope for all of you that like Winchester 73s if you have anything to add or you want me anything to say tell you about this rifle if I know I will and everyone who loves 1873 
rifle, this is a must book. This was given to me by a friend of mine from the States, Samuel. I'm very grateful for it. I love this book. It's a must for everyone who loves Richardson rifles, and in particular 1870, with a lot of data in, in there, a lot of information about this particular model. Uh, I hope you like the video. Anything you want me to tell you on this rifle, or you want to see up close of it, oh, no problem. I'll show you the very first chance I get. Should have done this in the beginning. I checked it. I checked the rifle before I started filming, so it's safe. It was all good. But I should have done that to you as well. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one. See you later.